nine, eight, seven. We have a go for main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia with a multitude of national and international space research experiments. Uh, I think it's, uh, for me, it was very far-fetched to think um, I'd get to fly on the space shuttle because I lived in India in a very small town and um, forget about space, I didn't even know if my folks were going to let me go to the engineering college and that was the immediate goal, you know. Kalpana Chawla was born on March 17, 1962 in Karnal, India. She was the first Indian American astronaut and first Indian woman in space. She first flew on Space Shuttle Columbia in 1997 as a mission specialist and a primary robotic arm operator. Apparently, her parents never gave her a formal name, but nicknamed her Montu. She picked her formal name at age 3 when she was brought to a nursery school by her aunt. The principal asked her name to which her aunt replied, uh, We have three names in our mind, Kalpana, Joshna and Sunaina. When the principal asked her to pick a name, she chose Kalpana. To fulfill her desire of becoming an astronaut, Kalpana aimed to join NASA and moved to the United States in 1982. She obtained a master's degree in aerospace engineering from the University of Texas at Arlington in 1984 and a second master's in 1986. She then earned a doctorate in aerospace engineering from the University of Colorado at Boulder. In 1983, Kalpana tied the knot with Jean Perry Harrison, a flying instructor and an aviation author. In 1988, Kalpana's dream of joining NASA finally came true. She was offered the position of Vice President of Oversight Methods at NASA Research Center and was later assigned to do computational fluid dynamics, research on vertical short takeoff and landing concepts. Kalpana was certified with a commercial pilot license for seaplanes, multi-engine aircraft and gliders. She was also a certified flight instructor for glide and aerospace. On acquiring U.S. citizenship in 1991, Kalpana Chawla applied for the NASA Astronaut Corps. She joined the Corps in March 1995 and was selected for her first flight in 1996. Kalpana's first space mission began on November 19, 1997. She was part of the six astronaut crew that flew the Space Shuttle Columbia flight STS-87. She was the first Indian-born woman to fly in space. During her first mission, Kalpana traveled over 10.4 million miles in 252 orbits of the Earth, logged in more than 372 hours in space. In 2000, Kalpana was selected for her second flight as part of the crew of STS-107. However, the mission was repeatedly delayed due to scheduling conflicts and technical problems, such as the July 2002 discovery of cracks in the shuttle engine flow liners. On January 16, 2003, Chawla finally returned to space abroad space shuttle Columbia on the ill-fated STS-107 mission. Her responsibilities included the microgravity experiments, for which the crew conducted nearly 800 experiments studying Earth and space science, advanced technology development, and astronaut health and safety. On February 1, 2003, Kalpana died in space along with seven crew members in the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster. The tragedy occurred when the Space Shuttle disintegrated over Texas during its re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. During the course of her career, Kalpana received the Congressional Space Medal of Honor, NASA Space Flight Medal, and NASA Distinguished Service Medal. Following her death, the Prime Minister of India announced that the meteorological series of satellites, METSAT, was to be renamed Kalpana 1 in 2003. Meanwhile, the Kalpana Chawla Award was instituted by the government of Karnataka in 2004 to recognize young women scientists. NASA, on the other hand, had dedicated a supercomputer to the memory of Kalpana Chawla.
Now, 